Hello everybody. I'm going to make a quick video on removing a water pump on a Ford 3.8 V6. You can find these engines in the Ford Thunderbird and a lot of the base model Mustangs. And a lot of the water pump is not straightforward like most water pumps. You can walk up to a water pump and just take off the bolts and pull it off. Well, this water pump, here's all your accessories. See that big accessory bracket where the water pump and the alternator and the tensioner, well, this uh, idler pulley's held. These nuts hold this over the water pump, so you got to pull this whole accessory, this whole accessory off, to get access to the water pump. You have to pull this pulley off, and they got some real tricky bolts. So you can either a choose to remove the power steering pulley, or like I did, cut a notch in it, so you can get to that bolt, that tricky little bolt back there. There's a tricky bolt back there and you can get it with a wobbly or a universal. Because there's some real hard to reach bolts taking off this accessory side here, or at least removing it and putting it off to the side. Of course, then you gotta remove upper hose, lower hose, this little guy right here. Take off this little eight millimeter, take that tube out, or at least enough to gain access to the pump. Then you gotta remove the coils, the coil pack by these two nuts. So you gain access right here, one and two. Those nuts, take them off. Then you can remove the rest of the water pump bolts. Now, there's also another thing behind this tube right here. You got to take off the tube to access that bolt right there, which holds this coil pack bracket on. Or you pull off all these little coil bolts, and that'll help you gain access to that final 13 millimeter bolt to take this off, because you have to take this whole bracket off in order to gain access to the water pump all the water pump bolts and nuts. And while you're down there, it's a good time to change the crank position sensor because it's right there. Once the water pump is exposed and out of the way, you can easily get to your crank position sensor. And your cam position sensor is right behind this bracket right here. So that's also a good time to get your cam position sensor out because those are common fail sensors after you know, high 100,000 mile, 200,000 mile mark. And this one has over 200,000, so rather than wait for the sensor to fail, you change it out. And uh, one of the, well, that's one of the tricks of the trade to get that water pump off. Thought I'd share that because I remember this water pump being a real pain when I was removing it because of all the stuff you had to get out of the way first. So with that in mind, that's how you do the water pump on the Ford 3.8 V6, which they put in a lot of Thunderbirds. They put in some Ford Tauruses, Mustangs, and some trucks. So, you know, the light, light duty trucks. So that's just a few things on how to remove the water pump because they are usually behind the accessories to access those bolts. So, also a good thing to get while you're down there is get the thermostat too. Two bolts. And you might as well go and put a lower degree thermostat in there since the factory puts too high of a thermostat in there. So if your engine were to overheat, getting from 200 degrees, which the factory thermostat is, all the way to 270 is pretty fast. If you go put a 160 or 180 degree in there, that's just all the much cooler your engine will stay on a consistent basis especially on those hot summer days when you have the air conditioning on so hope this helps some of you guys that like to do your own water pumps on these ford 3.8 engines that they've put in of course this ford thunderbird that i have here 
I'll just kind of scan the car, let you see it. 1997 Ford Thunderbird. Pretty nice little car. And they also put these engines in the base model Mustang as well. Yep. All right. Hope this helps you guys out, especially when it comes to doing your own work because you can save yourself a lot of money. The shop would probably charge you five or six hundred dollars for this water pump just because it's so hard to gain access to it. It takes a lot of removing of several components to gain access to it. But once you know what to remove, it's not that hard at all. You can do it yourself. Well, you guys have a great day and mad boosting.